Now I hope my future husband is not watching this video because he's going to be like, my, my wife can't cook. My future wife cannot cook. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're going to do another week in my meals of Trader Joe's. That's right, you're going to get from me six Trader Joe meals and I'm going to be testing out for the first time ever to see if these meals are a good or a no. Now I did this video a couple weeks ago. As I'm recording this right now I have not posted that video yet but it's probably posted as I'm posting this video so I'm going to link it up above. Now I don't know how that video is going to do bad or good as I'm recording this right now but what I do know is I had so much fun doing that video, editing that video and trying out so many foods that I decided you're going to get it again. So today's video I'm going to be trying different frozen foods or non-frozen foods from Trader Joe's to see if they are or now why Trader Joe's you may ask I follow this Instagram page black girls in Trader Joe's and it gives so many solid recommendations so many people go up for Trader Joe's when it comes to their frozen foods because they say they sometimes better than your other stores frozen foods and sometimes better than foods that you can even make yourselves so I am doing this test to see is that true now I hope my future husband is not watching this video because he's gonna be like my, my wife can't cook my future wife cannot cook I, I hope he's not watching this but your girl is sometimes cookingly a challenge so last time I did this I found some hidden gems I found some hidden gems in today's video we gonna see if we find some hidden gems as well if you're not familiar with Trader Joe's Trader Joe's is a supermarket that is up under the parent company of Aldi and whereas with Aldi sometimes you think of you know the low prices you think of bagging your groceries yourself and you think of those cashiers sitting comfortably in their chairs honey Trader Joe's you still get those equally little prices but the shopping experience is a little bit different you feel like you're getting a little bit different now the foods may be comparable to all these foods they might just be shipping it and putting in a little prettier package to put into the gentrified neighborhoods and that's what a lot of stores do but we're gonna see today if the six items six meals six things that I create are actually good from Trader Joe's now if you want to follow along on that journey just keep watching as we shop haul and try said foods let's get started So now I am back, got everything from Trader Joe's, and we just gonna haul everything that I got. Just like the last haul video I did, I'm gonna insert the prices of said items as I go through it. You may see some items from the last haul. I decided to include those two because I'm cooking them this time, although I did not, you know, cook them the last time. But I'm gonna tell you everything I got this time and this go around so you know this go around. I got the Trader Joe's broccoli cheddar soup. Last go around, you guys know, I got a soup. I got the lentil and I got the harvest chili. Loved both of them. So I was like, let's give it another try. There are some days where you don't even feel like doing the most. You want a lighter meal and you want a soup. So I got this soup as well as the Trader Joe's spicy pozole verde soup. So the spicy, got a little Mexican kick to it. The spicy pozole verde soup. And it's got a vegan twist on the classic soup with pinto beans, green chilies. It should be an interesting taste. Now, both of these soups, again, inserting prices, not, you know, too expensive. You know, you go to pay Panera Bread, all they're doing is heating up your once cold soup anyway. So you're getting the same price point. Now, also, I decided to try this buffalo style chicken dip. Now, I have seen this around. One of my friends love this. Shout out to you, Sasha. I saw her have this at New Year's Eve. We we had a New Year's Eve little socially distanced get together. And I know she had this, but I didn't want to try it because I'm always afraid of store-bought dips. But since the last video, and I did that kale yogurt dip variety and it actually was good, it made me say, well, let me go ahead and give this a try. Let me give this a try. As well as I got the hearts of palm pasta i hear great things about this so i got two i hear that it sells out pretty fast when you go to trader joe's too so that's why i got two not knowing whether it's good or not we're gonna see but i got the hearts of palm pasta as well as i got some restaurant quality tortilla chips 
some good old tortilla chips. Last go around, I got these organic kind. You guys saw from the last video, I got these and I kill these. Like daily, I just sit them on my counter and if I'm in between meals, I'll eat these. So these were the organic, what, white corn tortilla chips. These are restaurant style. We'll see which ones were better. Again, I like these and I wanted to buy them again to go with my dip, but I decided to go instead with the restaurant style quality. And of course, I'll let you know if it's actually good or y'all need to save the coinage. As well as, if you guys don't know, you've probably been under a rock, but there's this TikTok craze of making you some good feta cheese, tomato, a good little pasta dish that's been going around. Super easy, super simple. And I wanted to try it myself today. And I got two different kinds of pasta because I don't know which one will actually, I'll go with. They have the brown rice pasta fusilli and then I have the just regular penny pasta. We'll see which one I actually decide when I actually make said dish, but you'll see me make a non-frozen dish in today's week of meals. Now y'all saw this on my last go around. You saw the bread and fried ravioli make a debut and, and this go around, I want to try it pan fried. Like I filmed the video, I did everything, I ate it and afterwards I was like maybe if it had a crispier taste. Now I know this is more of an appetizer. I won't renege on what I said in my last video. This is not a full dish. This is definitely an appetizer but I want to give it another go and see if it tastes different. I do not have an air fryer and I think these would be awesome air fried but I'm just going to see if this time pan firing them is actually going to do something different. As well as I got a sweet this time. I got their actual ice cream. The Trader Joe's cookie butter ice cream. I'm going to try this. I know the I got the cookies the last time. We're going to actually try an ice cream this go around. I got some more chips. I've seen this post on the Black Girls and Trader Joe's group and I was like, well, let me go ahead and give it a try. And it's the scalloped potato chips with five cheeses. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five cheeses. We'll see how many cheeses I can taste in my taste buds when I have this. But this is my next item. I got some oatmeal cups. I used to love oatmeal cups when I would go into work and when I worked uptown really. Not as much when I worked where I work currently, but when I worked uptown for some reason I always wanted breakfast. I always craved breakfast and I did oatmeal cups, the Quaker oatmeal cups. But I'm trying to see what the Trader Joe's version got, what it, what it tastes like. If it's a little good to go grab in the morning breakfast type meal, we'll see when I try said items. Now the next three items are the only things that are carried over from my last video that I didn't try. I didn't buy it this go around, but I wanted to show it because you'll see it probably in today's video. It's the brie and tomato pizza that I did not try the last time, but you saw me haul it the last video, as well as I got this fettuccine with mushrooms. So we'll see, I don't know if I'll actually get to this because I wanna try my actual linguine. I love this linguine, but I wanna try it with a protein added, with some cheeses added, see what I can do to jazzy it up a little bit. But this is all that I got in my week of my Trader Joe's meals. Now, what you'll see me cook first is, you know, when you cook fresh from a store, you, you feel exhausted. You feel like you did a lot. Although all you did was push a buggy around and throw some items in, you feel like you did a lot. So a lot of times you get that urge to go buy something. You, you're right there. The grocery store is always right there by a Chick-fil-A, right there by a Burger King, a Wendy's or something. You want to get something, but I, you fight the urge. And I, today I fought the urge. And so today what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to try a soup. Uh, I don't want to do a lot. I don't want to do a lot again. But buggy pushing was a lot of work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try that broccoli cheddar soup from Trader Joe's. I think I'll have that as well as let me actually try to dip. I might get into the dip today. So it is a heated dip. So it has heating instructions on here for microwave and just microwave. I don't see anything else. I don't know why you would want to cook it any more extreme than a microwave. So I'll do a soup and I'll do my dip as my first meal. Said I'm in love with you and I might give you anything. So if you watch my last video, you know how we do. We show you what the presentation of meal number one looks like. We got that broccoli cheddar Trader Joe's soup. Uh, and we got the buffalo dip and the new, the white corn restaurant style tortilla chips. We'll see how these actually combine, how this tastes. And we'll get started with a little, little slight meal number one, not nothing extravagant, just a little lunch. 
Now first, let's get into the soup. Let's get into this broccoli cheddar soup. It's a little lighter than I typically like my broccoli cheddars. But let me take a few bites like I normally do. Soup, really good. Really good, excellent restaurant qualities. Nothing wrong with it. I did think it would be pretty hard to ruin a broccoli cheddar soup. Although I know there is the preponderance for it to happen. I knew that, you know, with Trader Joe's and the records that they've been having with the chilies and the soups that I've tried, they've been pretty similar to somebody's, you know, Panera Bread. So I do like this soup. I would give it, I don't know. I, there's nothing really to take it down a notch. I say 4.5 stars. I think it's really good. Oh, now, the next thing, let's get into the... Let's get into the chips and dip. Let's get into the chips and dip. Let's see how this is going to do. This one will be private, yo. You're done, no? Vicky's bad man on the instrument and even on one time. This dip, best dip I've ever had in my life. Best, I'm not over exaggerating when I say this. This dip is on point. I can see why, I, I, Sasha, I see why you went up for this. This is good. This is, I mean, not even good for a store. This is good for a restaurant. This is good for an appetizer at a restaurant. I will say, so many people, I'm a spicy person lover. I love spiciness. This wouldn't be my consideration for spicy, but I know it has a little kick at the end that some people be like, mm, that's too spicy for me. Like, I'll eat something that somebody said, oh, that's too spicy. I'll eat it and be like, this is regular. But for those people who say, oh, this is too spicy, it has whatever taste that is too spicy for them. It has that at the back end of it. Like it kicks, got a buffalo and it got a kick to it, and got a little kick to it. So I like it. These chips, comparably to the other chips that I had, the organic, just plain white corn, they're really restaurant quality. And what I say restaurant quality is if you've gone to a Mexican restaurant, they brought you out that basket of chips and they're harder than most chips, like a, a little bit harder, a little bit stiffer. It has that quality. But this dip was going to really get the grade. This dip is getting a five. It's getting a five. It's getting a five. It's for fire. So I am going to finish off this meal and then come back later for dinner, which will be meal number two. So if you want to see that, just keep watching. So time for the next mealy meal meal. And it is going to be a very French thin crust with brie, cheese, and tomatoes pizza. With this pizza, I might have that ice cream. I, although I'm like in my mind thinking that might be a terrible situation for my tummy, tummy, tummy. I also at the same time want something sweet a little bit. That's my vice. Them sweets are my vice. So I'm trying to debate. I think I will. I think I'll go with that ice cream. But I am preheating the oven right now. And then I will get into this very thin crust pizza. And we're going to do meal number two. Taste test number two. <laughs> A gypsy girl, she a fine like a sunrise. The way she move make a man cry. I'm feeling her, feeling her so. I want in, I want in, I want in her more. Let me know, tell me what you want to know. Me I no go lose control. Bad man I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one no be private show. Let me know, tell me what you want to know. So disregard the washing machine that is going extra hard behind me right now. Uh, what you see is the pizza. So I have the pizza right here. And I paired it with my dessert. It is that ice cream. It is that cookie butter. I don't know what cookie butter is, but we are going to find out today. This does contain milk from cows. So if you are vegan, this is not your type of ice cream. But we'll see. And we're going to get into meal number two. So now I am back and this is meal number two. We got the pizza and we got the ice cream. I want to try the ice cream first because for some reason it's melting pretty fast. I think it's more my freezer than it is the actual ice cream. But let me first test the pizza. Again, the pizza looks like it was pepperonis and that's what made me grab it. And then I got it home and I was like, oh, these are tomatoes. So this is a completely vegetarian option. But let's see what it tastes like. Pizza actually really really good. I will say it is not flat crust, thin crust all throughout. It's not that sturdy thin crust that most I say like a Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, all the restaurants that you can go to to get a pizza. The thin crust is thin throughout so it's not so much so that the non-crust part is flobby. This is a little bit more, you know, a little bit more flobby 
like a maybe uh, a cafeteria style thin crust, but nonetheless, I think it's a good option. I give it a three. Again, I like my crust a little bit more sturdy. Then in terms of the ice cream, let me try that. I like the ice cream. I like the ice cream. Now again, mine is melting pretty fast, almost like a McFlurry. Definitely an ice cream that I would repurchase. So I definitely will give it a four when we're considering store brand ice cream. So again, enjoy meal number two. We'll see you tomorrow for meal number three and four. So now I am back. It's the next morning and I'm just going to do a little simple, simple something for breakfast. I'm going to try this oatmeal. Now I did pick up two flavors of the oatmeal. I have the organic maple brown sugar as well as just the classic. I think I'm going to do this one. This looks interesting. So let's try this whole thing out and see. So this is it. I let it cook for about roughly, I'd say a minute, 25. I'm supposed to let it stand for 30 seconds. So I will let it stand for 30 seconds, but I guess this is technically meal number three and we will try this out. I'm not going to add anything. Typically, I add a little bit of half and half to my oatmeal, but since I want to give this an organic review, since this is organic oatmeal, I'm going to try it without adding anything to it. So just straight out the cup. And we'll see coming up right now so I have let it sit for two minutes and I am going to see what this tastes like it's still very warm even though it's set but I like my oatmeal very warm when it starts getting medium I'm like no ma'am no ma'am um, typically I'd have an apple with my breakfast too I typically when I would go to work would have an apple and an oatmeal and so let's just see now again I've added nothing to it and typically I would always add some sugar I would always add my half and half I did not add any of that so it is very bland without it but I'm gonna go get me some sugar from my bar cart I got some sugar on my bar cart I'm gonna add a little bit of this sugar in here I feel like it needs more than one, but I'm gonna add a little bit a lot better with the additive of sugar in there how would I rate this it's not bad I, I mean I guess in the stand of oatmeal oatmeal is oatmeal is oatmeal a lot of the time so it's very hard to have a very bad oatmeal for the price point of it I don't remember what it was but I'll put it on the screen right now I'd say not bad you're gonna have to add some sugar unless you like a very bland 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 my mom takes a little bit of sugar a little bit of butter and a little bit of milk in hers I like mine with a little bit of sugar a little bit of half and half in mine for me I'd say this is average it's about a three cup if you find a cheaper one in a store all you again you're making it your own most of the time anyways the cheaper route was probably just to get a box of Quaker oat or then just pour it in for like two dollars and 99 cents i want to finish this off though i'm going to grab an apple finish this off for breakfast and then i come back with some lunch and dinner time options for you guys so see you later so now i am back y'all wouldn't believe it but it is a whole day later it's a whole day later from yesterday the last thing that you guys saw was yesterday when i ate that oatmeal which was meal three when I tell you my energy has been sucked out of me for the last uh, 36 or so, some odd hours, it has been sucked out of me. And I promise you guys, it wasn't the oatmeal. I don't know. It's just maybe my body's way of telling me, girl, take a break. You've been filming a lot of content. You've been doing a lot. You've been go, 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 go. Take a little breakity break. So I am now back. It is dinner time the next day. And I'm going to make something. I was trying to wrap my brain. What did I want to try? I still got a little bit less energy in me. I'm not as revved and pep in my step as I normally am. But I drank a little caffeine and now I think I am ready to cook a little something something. And this time it's going to be an old favorite of mine. So I have a lot of these from Trader Joe's. This is one of my Trader Joe favorites. It is their pesto and tomato linguine. Like I make this all the time. It's almost like my oodles and noodles meal. But I feel fancy when I eat it. You know when you, you're tired you don't want to have to go through a lot. And you want to cook something but you want to feel like you did a lot. That's what I do with this linguine. It's only $2.99 and it's a pretty hearty full flavorful meal on its own but I'm gonna razzle dazzle
last a little, a little bit. I typically just eat it on its own. I don't add no protein. I don't add no meat. I don't add nothing to the meal. But today, I decided to add some little mussels to it. Why not? Add one frozen to another frozen. I got these from here in Cedar. They're just rust mussels. But I wanted to add a little bit of protein to my meal. So I'm going to add a little razzle dazzle. And, I'll, and I know it's a cheat because I already know I love this meal. But let's see if I can, you know, judge it up a little bit. Give it a little something. Uh, and see how it tastes if I add this. A little bit of cheese. Add a little bit of something something to the meal. So just keep watching to see me cook. I guess it's technically meal four. It's been so long. Let's get started. No. Tell me what you want to know. Me, I no go lose control. The bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one will be private show. Tell me, blow. Tell me what you want to know. I go give you all and more. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one will be private show. Your friends, they tell you, say I be nobody. Been searching all around, but I found nobody. Nobody, nobody. Call on me, call on me. I go give you all of me, all of me. Uh -huh. Baby, make you follow me, follow me. I go give you all of me, all of me. Oh, my toe, she wants to she moving to the baseline. The way she a wine, make a man wanna praise the wine. So now we have meal number four. It is that linguine with the added mussels. Then I added some capers from Trader Joe's. Those were Trader Joe brand capers. When I want to feel fancy and like I'm doing it up, I add a little bit of capers to the situation as well as you saw me add some of the Trader Joe's Italian truffle cheese. Again, wanting to level this meal up. Take a $2.99 meal to add a little bit of va 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 voom And what va 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 voom is better than a little bit of truffle. So mussels, truffles got the whole nine yards in here we're gonna see if this 2.99 pasta tastes like it should be 22.99 at somebody's restaurant let's test it all out so here we have it the fancy 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 little meal that i have made here again i've never done exquisite things with this i just used the 2.99 pasta as it came and we're gonna see today if the added cheese capers and muscle juices and muscles themselves give it a little a uh, flavor a vibe you don't know I really like it. I really like it. Now, again, love the linguine all the time by itself. So by, the, by itself, I can give it like a four. It's really good. I mean, for, again, what you get for $2.99, don't expect like miracles out of this linguine. But it's good enough. It's one portion size. It's good enough for me. So think about cooked meals a lot of times when you're, you live alone sometimes and you're single. And you don't want to eat the same thing over and over again. You can make too big of a meal sometimes. And you have so much left over that you're eating spaghetti for week. If you want like a smaller one size portion, I like this linguine for that. Now adding the mussel. The mussel, I had reservations about it. I bought it from here in Cedar Rollins. But I was like, frozen mussels how will it taste it does taste really good and i think it really goes well like i think any protein would go well with it whether you go with a chicken or you want to switch it up with a, a, a steak or if you want to switch it up with even shrimp uh, i think that'll go well with it the capers i love i just like capers now i'm in a very capers phase if you guys can see a little win-win Winnie's over in the corner eating. I had to give her some food, give her her own meal so that she could eat while I'm enjoying a meal as well. But overall, loving it and I can't wait for tomorrow's meal. I will hopefully be all energized. This will give me the energy that I need tomorrow to burn you some more meals. See you then. So now I am back for the next meal. Today's meal, we're going to do the breaded fried ravioli. We're gonna have this now. If you watched my last Trader Joe's, you already know we tried this out. We tried this out oven. It was giving me, I wish it was a little bit more crispy. It was giving me, I wish I had a little crunch, crunch, crunch to it. Now, it has three different styling or three different heating instructions. It has the air fryer, pan fry, and conventional oven. Again, last time I went with oven. This time, I don't have an air fryer. I do not have an air fryer. I don't have the counter space for it, nor do I have the cabinet space for it. But I do have pans and I can fry. So I'm going to try to pan fry to see if I have a different taste on it. Because, again, I follow the Black Girls in Trader Joe's group and they always have this. They always talk about, Mwah, I love it. And I was like, it wasn't giving me what it was supposed to be giving me last time I had it. 
but we're gonna see we're gonna see i'm gonna pair it like the last time i did this video a soup last time i think i tried that harvest chili with it this time i'm gonna try that spicy pozzoli soup and last but not least i guess i'll pair it with these scallop potato chips i guess i'll add a little bit of chip to the situation i am a little bit more hungry today and so i'm gonna pair it with some of these scallop potato chips if you want to see how i cook meal number are we on five now meal number five just keep watching Bad girl make you want to be based, nah, nah. Give me that thing where I go for you late, nah, nah. The way you back it up, the way you bust in the place, nah, nah, nah. Oh, yeah. on time, yeah, don't be late, nah, nah. Said I'm in love with you, and I'ma give you anything you want. And I'ma give you anything. So we have meal number five. We got those scallop potato chips. We got that soup. The soup is a little more soupy, like more watered down than, than I typically like my soups to be, but we'll see. And then we have the fried ravioli. It's a lot more crispier, but this is meal number five and we gonna see how it treats me. So let's start opposite. Let me start with the soup first. See what the soup is giving us. It's a lot of onions in here, I see. It's not bad. It's very, it's very spicy. Got a lot of onions in here. Very flavorful. Got a very broth feel though. If you're looking for something a little bit more hearty, go for that lentil soup. Go for that chili I had the last time. This is very, it's not bad. And if you are used to this dish, again, this is the first time I've ever had this dish. It seems to be a popular when I looked at a Mexican dish. And it was, they say there's pinto beans in here, but there's not that many. Like when I try to scoop it up, I'm scooping a bunch of onions. So it's very oniony. Let me try the chips next. This will be my first time trying this. Not tasting a lot of cheeses. Maybe there's so many cheeses, like five cheeses, that the cheeses are counseling each other out type of a vibe. They're not bad chips. They're not bad at all. Um, the last video I did the everything but the bagel chips from Trader Joe's. And these do have a little bit more flavor. Um, they still have that crunch to them. They're not greasy at all. I haven't had a sour cream and onion chip in a long time, but I can taste a, it taste a little hint of that. But I don't taste a lot of like cheesy cheesiness. But I'm not a cheesy chip type of gal, so I was you know excited to step out my realm and try this. But it's not bad now for the kind of big show runner. The thing I've already had, but trying it more crisp. Hope you guys are picking up the crispiness of it comparably to kind of what the last time was. It was very soft the last time. This time it's definitely more crispy, which I'm excited about. Definitely more gooey. The cheese has a lot more gooeyness to it too. Very warm, very steamy. It's a bad man. It's hitting. It's hitting. Oh, that is good. That is good. Now, I haven't even put up my first Trader Joe's video, even though it's two weeks old as I'm recording this right now. So I'm sure people are screaming at me in that video. Like, you should have paid a Friday. You should have, like, bought an air fryer because it's so much better. It is so much better than when I baked it. So much better. This is worth getting an air fryer for because I think when you pan fry, you're getting all that grease in there. You're getting all that grease that go in here. But I think it's creating that, that crispier shell that's needed. Like, do not bake these unless you're on a health kick and you're trying to go healthy. It just doesn't taste the same. I give this, whatever it was the last time, I'm going to bump it up a whole notch because it is really good crispy. So I'm going to finish off my meal and then I will come back for my later meal, which will... Probably that hearts of palm pasta, but you guys will see coming up next. So now for my next meal, which would be meal number six, we're gonna go with the hearts of palm pasta. Now this pasta, when I originally grabbed it, I thought that it was going to be the, like what is in here, what's on the picture. But then I read it and I was like, oh, I have to add all those things great i'm glad i have all these ingredients here with it for it now it gives you two different heating instructions for stove top and microwave i'm going to do stove top but it says empty contents into saucepan heat for approximately five minutes and serve with your favorite sauce it has serving suggestion heat on either the stove top or microwave as directed above add olive oil garlic cherry tomatoes and fresh herbs so i gotta add everything to it lucky me 
Me and no go lose control. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one will be private show. Tell me, no. Tell me what you want to know. I go give you all and more. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one will be private show. You're done, no. Big kids, bad man, I want the instrument and give me a one time. It's okay, done. Bad man, see me take you there. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. So now we have that Hearts of Palm Pasta. I think I did pretty good at trying to mirror what the box had. Of course, when you get it, it's just a noodle. So I added some tomatoes, added some of that cheese. Some of that black garlic, some of that chili onion crunch by Trader Joe's, the Trader Joe's olive oil. I tried to use all Trader Joe's ingredients other than that parsley. So we are going to see what meal number six is given. Is it given what it's supposed to be given? Let's see. So now it's pasta time. Let's give this a good taste. So, uh, the pasta. The pasta, I'd say, is definitely leaner tasting. I looked at the box to see what I was tasting. This is gluten-free, vegan, um, and so maybe I'm tasting like a lack of using like an egg in the noodle or a lack of like something. Something is missing as opposed to like if you think of traditional linguine, traditional pastas, which do have some kind of... I don't know, hearty or these feel very light, very fresh. So if somebody was like looking for a vegan gluten-free option, I think this is a good option. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think maybe I'm just a glutton for fatty foods and just, you know, overly processed foods, which is a problem for me. But overall, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just probably not my cup of tea. I probably do like a little bit more egg noodle type consistency more of a spaghetti noodle I don't know it's this feels very light it feels very light maybe I'd give it a three would it be something that I would purchase to pair with some kind of like sauces because it does say use sauce I didn't want to flavor it up with some sauce I think it's very flavorful with the ingredients that I utilize today so that was meal number six let's move on to meal number seven the final meal the piece de resistance is that how you say it? I'm, I'm gonna say it that way. See you for meal number seven. So the last and final meal, like I said at the top of this video, is gonna be that TikTok pasta. Now, a lot of my followers may or may not know what the TikTok pasta is, but it's basically where you take some cherry tomatoes, you put in a block of feta cheese, olive oil, add your ingredients, add whatever type of pasta you want to use. I've seen people use macaroni noodles, penne noodles. I've seen them use bow tie ribbon noodles. I've seen them use several different kinds of noodles for this. But you just kind of make the cheesy sauce in the oven, you make the pasta, add it, combine it together, and then you have your version of it. Now, I'm not a big feta cheese fan, so when I saw that this uh, pertained or had a need for feta cheese I wasn't too thrilled but own oh, black girls in Trader Joe's D always comes with the alternative somebody asks her a question in her like DMs or something uh, what do I use if I don't like feta cheese use brie so I have some brie here which I don't mind brie as much as I do feta cheese I might take a little bit of the feta and a little bit of the, the brie I don't know how that cheesy combination will work but we're gonna see we're gonna see is there such thing as too many cheeses probably Probably is such a thing. Probably such a thing for your cholesterol and all those fun things. But we'll see today how this meal tastes. And of course, everybody makes their own spin on this thing. So I'll put my spin on it as well to see how I make it. Just keep watching. No go lose control. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one will be private show. Tell me, no. Tell me what you want to know. I go give you all and more. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one will be private show. Your friends they tell you say I be nobody. 
Been searching all around, but I found nobody. Nobody, nobody. Call on. So this is the pasta. It looks really good. It is meal number seven. Now with the brie cheese, I guess I didn't know that there was skin on it that I needed to take off. So that cooked with it, but I took that skin or whatever that extra flab of brie off of it. So I do also think I might have used too much olive oil. Might have been a little too oily. So I know this is going to be a lot more fatty than most people's versions. But nonetheless, let's get started with meal number seven. Let us give it a go with the taste test. Yo. This is the best meal of all the meals that I tasted. Like literally, I'm killing this. It is tasting so good i don't know whether it's that trader joe's crunch that i added that chili crunch sauce i know this wasn't a video about their kind of other seasoning products but that that crunch so good oh my god this is like oh gonna be a part of my rotation because it's quick and easy and i think it's the combination of the cheeses because the feta isn't bad like i'm not a not fan of feta it's not terrible it's not like goat cheese i don't like goat cheese what other cheeses that i don't like blue cheese i don't like cheeses like that so it's not a terrible cheese it's just not my favorite but this meal though it's gonna be in rotation and i know i use too much olive oil i don't see a problem with it i'm i'm not seeing no issues i'm not finding the issue here so this it's not bad, so if you have not tried the tiktok pasta again make it the way you want to it don't got to be just like the instructions for like add the cheese of your choice of course it can have to be a soft cheese it can't be like a hard sharp cheddar just make sure it's a softer more you know your taste. try it let me know how it turns out for you but if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't don't be no hater over here still give it a big thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and let me know what else you want me to do make sure you're following me on instagram at lelamod89 and winnie is sitting right here because she smells it too girl you know it's good girl she is sitting here like mama where my food at let me feed her finish this off I'm probably going to finish off the whole container. And I'll see y'all next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.